it's been a while since I've done one of these. A little bit of a commentary because some people enjoy it. You know, they do. Ah, they don't do quite well, quote unquote, as my original videos, as my little sloppy videos. Um, which is the topic of what I want to talk about today. While you enjoy some TF2 clips in the background of me just playing the game. So what I want to like talk about today is that. You know, uh, people wonder about my videos. People, people, people. Uh, I've seen a lot more critique coming to my my little clip dump videos. It's not that people don't enjoy them. It's just people have been saying like, oh, they don't take a lot of effort. Oh, you can yeah, anyone could do this, and you know, yada yada yada. And it's true, anyone could do these sorts of videos. There, I mean, there are a lot of YouTubers, my peers. You know, I've Job Cup and Zayo, I think his name is, and. Uh, there are, there are a lot more people who try to do clip dump videos. Uncle Dane inspired me to do this because he did a little bit of a clip dump. And I'm like, oh, that's funny. You know, people just playing the game. It's fun. It's nice. It's relaxing. Well, relaxing. It's just content, right? You get a little bit of funny, you know, funny insights of what everyone else is doing, right? So that's what kind of drove me to make my own little clip dump videos. And I again, I watched... Kid is 0706 when I was growing up, and dear lord, he has, rest in peace by the way, but he, his videos have really inspired me, and, uh, and Dr. Valve, and Berno, and, uh, oh god, Delac, and there's so many, so many more uh, Gmod creators who have just inspired me with these sound effects that they use, and I've Fondly, I love these sound effects that I have in my folder. And my folder, uh, people have been asking me also about my sound effects folder. And no, I'm not giving it out. And if I do quit, quit, quote unquote, YouTube or if I retire or something like that, I will give out my sound effects. I will publish my sound effects folder for everyone to use. And But by then, I need to actually clean some stuff up because there are some audio files that I never use. There are some audio files that... I never knew that was there, so, yeah. Either way, when it comes to my little videos that I make, my 20-minute clip dump videos, on surface level, yes, it does not seem that it takes a lot of work. It does not, compared to Job Cup, who actually has done a 20-minute video, I think, or even more, like 10 minutes or 20 minutes plus, uh, with his style of editing, it takes a fuck ton of... Uh, Editing and um, jokes and preparations to set up those jokes and you know whatever. He's a really talented dude, and there's nothing wrong with doing you know. At least I think I think it's nothing wrong with me doing what I do. It's just me and my friends playing TF2, and that's all it has been. Okay, let's get into the topic of actually editing these. So, the amount of footage I go through to collect these clips or to uh, get these clips. The amount of the amount of hours it takes for me to play TF2. I mean, again, doesn't again, 20 minutes doesn't sound like a lot, but I play a lot of TF2 to collect to collect these clips. Some servers or some games I do get a lot of clips in. Depends on our moods and it depends on the game, you know, it depends on a lot of things. And then there's subtitling. Subtitling is the most boring thing I can do when it comes to my videos. At least I think, because it's just writing text of what's being said. Sometimes I don't even understand what people are saying because of the audio. And I'm like, what the fuck are they saying? Sometimes I need to keyframe the text. I like doing that because it feels like it gives a bit, it gives it a bit of charm. You know, if I keyframe the text onto my buddies and I feel like, yeah, they, these people deserve it. Because again, I mean, why wouldn't I? It's just, it's just a huge missed opportunity to like, you know, do a little bit of editing, you know, putting putting in a little bit of effort, and uh, you know, it's a it's a way for me to like show a bit of respect to my friends of putting in that effort for them, so they stand out a lot more in my videos, yeah, rather than just their text, their colored uh, shows and text being just popped up on the screen. Uh, speaking of subtitles, I've I've been thinking of changing my text color. Mine's just white. You know, regular plain white, you know, why not? But, you know, I feel like the white color could be like an editor's note, you know? Uh, you know, sometimes in my videos where I put a a parenthesis on the screen or like uh, the, the little stars, whatever. Um, 
to explain what's going on in the clip, to give a bit of context to the clip that's coming up. Um, I feel like that that could be a white text. Sometimes, I mean, it, there are white, but you know, it feels like more um, that it's just me speaking to the viewer. It makes it more clear, you know. And my and my text should be like this murky green, as I've chosen for my YouTube channel, you know. Um, I don't know. Just been something I've been thinking about. And it makes it a lot easier for me to use that white text as as like a tool, you know. If someone's speaking in voice chat, I can easily just make that text white instead of the uh, pastel blue or red color, depending on what team they're on, right? Same thing goes for like if I choose to edit text on top of the classes, you know. In one of my videos, my latest video is where a heavy is uh, charging a demonite with this... <laughs> with this warrior spirit, and uh, he gets created by the skull cutter and just dies. <laughs> I think that's really funny because, I mean, if you don't know with the warrior spirit for heavy, you take a, a lot more damage when you have them out, a lot more damage vulnerability. And if you get critted by the skull cutter, normally you just a crit with the skull cutter can kill like just a huge chunk of damage, killing every class instantly unless it's a overhealed heavy. I think I don't know. I don't think so. But with him, that heavy is he's at stuck at 300 HP, and with that warrior spirit, he's just dead. And I edited um, white text onto him, which can you know for some viewers can get confusing. It's like you know, is that monkey? Oh no, it's just a heavy. You know, bit of clarity. Why did I talk a lot about this? Ah, whatever. Also, another thing about subtitles is that I did in the past before I, when I started started making videos, I did like this little pop effect to my subtitles, um, you know, to, to you know, make them pop in, give them more animations, so when a new sentence began, the the text would have, like, a nice transition to the new text. However, what I really don't like about that now is that it's been mainstreamed into uh, TikTok, or not TikTok, but, like, YouTube shorts, you know, people animate their texts in order to keep the viewers engage, right, these fucking kids, you know, who cannot look away. I mean, they, they want to keep their kids' attention, or else they will, will lose a viewer. It's not only that, it's also because of, again, clarity. There's nothing wrong with just text appearing on the screen. Non-animated, it doesn't mean less effort, it just means people can read it a lot more clearly. Ra rather than have to, like, wait for the, the animation to stop going so they can actually read what's going on, you know? Um... So that's what I feel about, like, subtitling. It's, uh, I never thought I had this much to say about subtitles, actually. So, I'm going without the script, by the way, if you couldn't tell. What people also don't realize is that I have variety in my map pool. With, when I'm playing with my friends, I'm obviously the part leader. But um, I try to have some variety, map variety in my videos, so people don't get clips of powerhouse for like 10 minutes straight you know sometimes you know you, you guys don't notice this but, but i do switch up i do take clips that are like r literally right next to each other and like put them a bit further up and a lot further up but like further into the video so i can put in like a clip of me playing on moss rock or uh, dust bowl or gorge you know other maps, so you can get a bit of a, 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 a little bit of variety. People have seen me playing a lot of snowplow and um, a lot more. Uh, like people have seen me play pastime. Sometimes I've played medieval mode, and I do uh, switch that up a bit. I played a lot of harvest events in my last video, and I did swap around a little bit of the clips. You could notice this if you have if you if you paid attention, you could see that that it's from the same session Se session. <laughs> um, so I put in a little bit of thought into that. Another thing about my videos is that during uh, the audio mixing that I do, I um, sometimes when a clip I feel like, or you know, a sound in the videos I feel like is a bit loud, you don't even notice it, but I do notice it when I when I edit it. Ed when I edit it, it, sometimes someone in Discord just yells a lot or. So my friend just has a very peaking mic. I do sometimes lower the volume of that entire track. If you have really sharp ears, you do hear that the game audio lowers a bit. YouTube does have like a little bit of audio mixing going on in there. So if 
so 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 certain sounds don't get too loud in order it makes it a bit easier for the editors and whatever that it does a little bit of audio mixing on its own but it's not enough especially when it comes to my audio track i record with nvidia shadowplay and you can only create two tracks one for the system sound which is the game and the discord audio and one for yourself with your microphone mine is a lot easier to like control if I can sometimes mix and change around my voice depending on the situation. If it if it contributes a lot to the to the comedic value of a clip, I mean, I can. I mean, if I say I swear that YouTube will not like, I can easily just cut it out without having to with, without having to sacrifice the game audio, which I do sadly have to do for my friends. But honestly, you know, it's it doesn't really matter. So that's audio mixing. I I, I do put my audio track before when the video like when, when the video video is like done and when I feel like my I don't I'm not gonna go through any more editing. I do render my audio track through Audacity, which I'm recording right now, and I put on a um, normalize uh, f effect onto it, so it normalizes all uh, normalizes all of my. Uh, sound decibel values uh, so i don't have to do as much audio mixing when it comes to my audio because sometimes windows really likes to fuck around with microphone volume sometimes i i uh, change it set settings sometimes you know I, ca I can change the audio on my on my microphone i use a blue yeti x by the way so it has this little scroll thingy on the microphone and if i do come in contact with that it can easily change the volume of my microphone and you and windows also likes to uh, change uh, microphone settings and and depending on how far and you know how far away i am from the mic and how close i am to the mic how loud i'm yelling it it all becomes a mess right it all becomes a mess and i and i do want to go in and edit everything edit the loud parts down and bring the quiet parts up in order for people to hear what i'm saying more clearly and without hurting anyone's ears or like you know piercing them or feel like it's becoming annoying you know i do put some thought into that i mean some thought i, I like <laughs> a lot of time goes towards that uh so yeah audio is a really important thing to get right otherwise people will notice it people don't notice the good audio but a lot of people will notice the bad audio, bad audio, bad quality, whatever. Um, so yeah, and about like video editing in and of itself is that sure, 20 minutes isn't a lot, but these are clips I'm going through. In terms of the video in and of itself, people will look at the, like a 20 minute clip dump video and be like, huh, that's a, I mean, 20 minutes, you know, you can watch that right there. You know, 20 minutes isn't a lot of time. However, I do spend a lot of time not on, not on every clip, but I do make sure that every clip I put in has nice pace going through them, right? I show the funny part, and then it's on to the next one. You know, it, I keep it up, uh, and I that's when and and, that, and that's what uh, I feel like some people are missing. I've well, like I've, people have been doing a lot of video stuff in my Discord and have showed me and a lot of things I keep coming back to or I keep referring back to is that people don't know about pacing uh, when it comes to videos. It's all about keeping the the viewer engaged. So, I mean, people we all know what game we're playing, right? If it if if it is about TF2, you don't really have to. I mean, of course you can have to build up to the clip that you're showing, right? And sometimes that can add to the comedic value of the clip. But most of the time, you can just show the funny part and it's done. And sometimes you can just cut in the middle of that part and it's done. So it's all about pacing. And I do make sure that the pacing keeps up with every clip that I put in. Otherwise, I mean, sometimes if the pacing isn't good or I'm not happy with the clip, it's not worth it or whatever, I sometimes get rid of the clip. I do have on my Patreon some scrapped clips, but nowadays I nowadays I use like every clip I get, either because I've just gotten better at using ed maybe I've gotten better at, you know editing who knows, but sometimes before I did get rid of some clips that weren't funny enough that was just incredibly silly, but I feel like this is some Reddit tier fucking video that people will most likely not find funny. But, I mean, people maybe find it enjoyable, but I want fast-paced, 
chaotic fucking fun sometimes. Um, and of course, you can balance it out with some quiet parts, which is good. So that's like the entire part of you know the editing process. Then we have the sound effects. Sound effects, I do cut down on them. Sometimes I do want to go balls to the walls with memes and sound effects, and I think it's really funny to edit those uh, in. But uh, I feel like if I do it... Like, it takes a lot of time to add these, and especially with the sound mixing I have to do, and I want to feel like, and I, and I need to go through, like, when they're gonna play, if it fits well, if it, it like, maybe, maybe the sound effect I've worked on for, like, the la la past five minutes is wrong, and I have to do, like, another sound effect, because it feels a lot better, or, you know, sounds a lot better. I don't know, there are a lot of things that goes into adding sound effects, too, and I do not want to rely on every, like, the same sound effect every once, like, every time, but sometimes sometimes I have I have one sound effect that I cannot stop laughing at and it's the uh, fro sound effect you know when I toss a guillotine a mad milk a, so, someone goes flying in a clip that sound effect you got I hope you guys know what I'm talking about if, if you if you guys don't know I'll play it like right now in the background and if you know you probably will hear it and you will probably most likely be like, oh, I know that sound. But to me, that sound is the most amazing, goofiest fucking sound effect that I, uh, that, I will, I, that I will always use. Because it's just too great to pass up, I feel like. And I think, like, but any other game, sound effects do go a long way. But, but with TF2, it just fits, you know? It's not like I don't want to stop adding sound effects at all. It's just that I... When, when it comes to, like, a clip that's very drawn out uh, that I just, you know, for example in my one of my Scream Fortress videos, I played a lot of beggars and I put in a lot of time to add in sound effects in order to supplement that, so, you know, it's not like a frag montage, you know, it's you know, it's funny, I think, at least I don't know, it, people, you know, fun is subjective, again, once again for, don't judge me but I think that's really funny. And sometimes people say like, oh, Monkey just relies on sound effects. Yeah, that's it's not funny. It's just a way to like, I don't know. It's some, it sounds a bit of a cope. Not for them, but like for me. For me to cope like, oh, I'm not funny. It's just, well, <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I, I just make videos on the internet. If you don't like my little clip dump videos that I put in uh, the same sound effects in every 10 seconds, then, then then my videos are not for you and you know that's fine if you like jump cup it's it's funny too because people say like I'm a diet version of jump cup which is I mean true but I feel like it's a bit of an insult to him because he puts in a lot of editing to his videos and it's a, they are a bit you know they're also chaotic but I feel like they're a completely different tone compared to mine I feel like his videos are a lot more silly lot more well crafted meanwhile meanwhile my videos are a bit all over the place clunky rough around the edges silly yes case crazy i don't know I, again i barely know what the fuck i'm making so i'm not a, i'm not an expert and i do lack the vocabulary vocabulary to describe everything so again there are a bunch of other youtubers that you can watch that can fulfill your needs and i'm sorry i don't create weapon review videos where I talk about a gun in TF2 that everyone knows what it does, but it's supplemented with crazy editing. I've seen these videos very, very well edited, like it's fucking amazing. It's just wow, you know? Um, but it's like the, the, like the, 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 like the elephant in the room is that they're talking about a weapon that everyone knows what it does. And that weapon has stayed the same for like almost 10 years now, you know? So I don't know. Maybe it's about a weapon that, you know, goes underused. Maybe it's a very popular weapon or something like that, so. And the last part, I think, is my uh, my intros. Like, my intros have changed a lot. I've put in a lot of work into my intros some, uh, sometimes. Sometimes it just fades in. It depends what I want to do, and it, it depends what my, my, my brain can come up with. But... <laughs> And you'll ask yourself, what brain, you know? But all, in all honesty, but I do like these little shit post intros because I don't know. I, I think they're really funny to me. <laughs> I, I, I like what I do is that I I, um, I take a lot of these clips that I find on Instagram, by the way, and I I, I found a way to download. And I'm like, okay, this is this is mine now. So I just 
I take like I like I I go in and I edit these and I take out the clips I really like and I and I um well I I used to stack them all together I stitch them all together in this in this like crazy fucking thing uh and then like I don't know they they're they're different all the time well not different entirely but you know I can I don't I again I don't really know what I'm doing I'm just making shit up as I go so um another thing when it comes to TF2 uh everyone likes to talk about the game. But nobody plays it, right? Have you all, I'm, I'm sure everyone has said, uh, you guys have heard that quote before. If you guys watched says this video about nobody's home, excellent fucking video. I, I've seen him working on that video for like months before it was like announced publicly to, on his channel, you know? Or, you know, when it, before it went live or whatever. And um, like I knew the numbers before everything, but when seeing that video compiled, it was amazing. I mean, in terms of editing, yes. In terms of um, research purposes, yes. Oh my god. And um, to summarize it, if you haven't watched it, it uh, TF2 does not have even close to like 200,000 players or 100,000 players. It has around 20 to uh, 20,000 or 25,000, if we're being generous here. Either way, TF2 is... Not, it, it's not dead. People say that TF2 is dead. It's not dead. People still play it. I still play it. and But it's just very, very sad to see the actual numbers of this game. The, 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 the flourishing community that everyone wants it to be, that everyone says it is, it's not true. And I, like me personally, I knew that TF2 did not have this yeah, huge amount of players. It's not fucking possible. It cannot happen. But I just didn't know what the actual real i mean how to like actually you know n know how many people were playing this game on a daily basis because steam just showed everyone who has the game launched but they didn't show how many players were in servers right and i play this game a lot i i did say this when i was you know when i was talking about my video editing but i play this game a lot and so are my friends and uh, and i wish people did it more like, more YouTubers were doing this, right? Instead of just treating this game like a job. The, like, I feel, I feel like most YouTubers just jump into this game only when they need footage for their video, for the video they're making. Which is fine, you know? I know some people stream TF2 and play TF2. I've seen Fish on a Stick do it. But I'm talking like these bigger channels, you know? I'm not gonna mention who, because again, it's their business, you know? I don't, I'm not gonna poke my nose and be like, mm, you, you're supposed to do this. It's not about that. It's just, I wish people did it more. And people give me flack for making these little clip dump videos because ah oh, that's all you do but it's like it's more genuine i feel you see me in nature playing this game for how many how many hours i have like almost 9000 hours in this game and i keep on playing it and every time i play it it feels like a not a new experience but uh, you know it, it can surprise me this game can still surprise me in terms of how fucking bot infested it can be, or shader infested, but um, in terms of new players you can meet, maybe not new players, but you know, new encounters. You know, I guess I can you know use that to close this video off by just wrapping wrapping it up, wrapping it up, wrapping it up. <laughs> Is that anyone could do what I what I do, and it's nothing wrong with people doing the same thing, you know, clip dumps, because this is literally. One of the first things that ever popped up on YouTube. Just funny, l funny moments, you know? And, and it's all... Like, the thing is, people think it's about the content in of itself, right? It's all about how much effort you put in. It's about, you know... I mean, that does matter. But you don't forget about yourself. I'm not saying that I'm an interesting person. Uh, but it's about, you know, the, the guy who's playing the game, you know? Don't be like a puppet, right? Who's playing the game. Be yourself, because people who cares about you will stick around for you also, like in the long run. And again, I'm not saying that I have a huge personality or, you know, that I'm so funny, that I'm so epic or whatever fucking, you know. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a guy who likes to play video games and I do have my biases when it comes to TF2. I fucking hate Sniper, right? I hate him. <laughs> but am I, am I a guy who wants to see him getting neutered into the floor and make him borderline unplayable and unfun to play? No. I just want him to be balanced accordingly.
like a normal person. I don't want to nerf him because I, I hate playing against him. I like playing Sniper. I just wish for the people who spent like thousands of fucking hours playing him, they didn't melt through my team all the time. That's it. So, it's okay to have opinions on, on the internet because it makes you a person that people can sometimes relate to. So, to, to summarize this video, yes, like my, my videos, my, my, my little 20 minute clip dump videos on surface level, it doesn't seem like a lot, especially with the uh, thumbnails and the titles especially, I put casual in every title. But that is that is just for YouTube and everyone to reassure, like, oh, it's a casual video, right? Because everyone knows what those are. Same with the thumbnails. I do try, I, I've tried to like switch up my thumbnail game by photoshopping a lot. Sani is my inspiration for this. I like his videos a lot. And his thumbnails are mwah. And uh, they're clean. I, th I, think, I think they're really clean. My, my last one about... Oh, what's his name? His name is Osborne something from the Spider-Man movies. And I think it's a really clean thumbnail. But... So yeah, anyone can do what I what I do. And about TF2 being dead from Sess's video. It's not dead. For a game that's like almost 18 years old. Almost legal, by the way. <laughs> It's not dead. It's nowhere near being dead. You know, it still has a flat but reoccurring player base or player count that still comes back to play this game, which is good. So it's it's nowhere <laughs> dead at at all. Uh, it's just that it's not flourishing at all. I'm repeating myself in terms of words, but and if you want to be a clip time YouTuber yourself, go ahead. You just do whatever you want to do, and don't forget about yourself. That's another thing. That's a very important. So. I think that's it. Um, I wanted to cover more topics, but I mean, what else can I cover? If you guys want to hear like stories or whatever, I can cover them. I got, I got some, I got some shit to say. I got, I got a story where we almost capsized when we were sailing, um, and I could be dead, but I'm not, sadly, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, again, leave your comments below if you want to hear about that in some future video. But anyways. That's enough for me. Uh, I hope you have a good day. Don't forget about yourself. Don't for forget to treat yourself right, okay? So yeah, thanks and bye-bye um, and have a good day. Victory.
Charge! You don't understand it! 